Welcome. Thank you for lending an ear to The Voice of the Times for Friday, January 8, 2021. For today's editorial, China's denial of visas to World Health Organization mission holds up COVID-19 origins project. It took months of painstaking negotiations before the World Health Organization could be persuaded to organize a mission of 10 experts to China that would inquire and investigate the real origins of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19 and which has already taken more than 1.8 million lives globally. It took the simple refusal by the Chinese government to grant visas to the 10 experts to bottle up the important mission before it can even begin its work. The naughty situation knows how critical and sensitive the COVID-19 origins project is. The entire international community, peoples and governments alike, wants to know and understand how COVID-19 really started and how it metastasized into a pandemic that has caused so much suffering and torment. China, on the other hand, according to the Associated Press, appears determined to control the origin story of the virus. What is known so far is this. The coronavirus was first recorded in the central Chinese city of Wuhan in late 2019, prompting accusations of chaotic, secretive handling by Chinese authorities that led to its spread beyond its borders. China has so resisted pressure for a full independent probe into the early days of the outbreak. Instead, it appears to have seeded doubt as to whether the pandemic even started inside its borders. The WHO expert mission was billed as a way to cut through the rancor and seek clear answers on how the virus jumped from animals to humans. But with some of the team already in transit, Beijing has yet to grant them entry, the WHO chief said. Today, we learned that Chinese officials have not yet finalized the necessary permissions for the team's arrivals in China, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus told reporters on Tuesday. I am very disappointed with this news given that two members had already begun their journey and others were not able to travel at the last minute. He stressed that he had been in contact with senior Chinese officials to make clear that the mission is a priority for the WHO and the international team. I have been assured that China is speeding up the internal procedure for the earliest possible deployment, Tedros added. At this point, neither the WHO nor China has until now confirmed when, specifically, the mission is due to start its work. The origins of COVID-19 remain bitterly contested, lost in a fog of recriminations and conjecture from the international community, as well as obfuscation from Chinese authorities determined to keep control of the virus narrative. Scientists initially believed the virus jumped from humans at a market selling exotic animals for meat in the city of Wuhan. But experts now think the market may not have been the origin of the outbreak, but rather a place where it was amplified. The WHO team has promised to focus on science, specifically on how the coronavirus jumped from animals, believed to be bats, to humans. This is not about finding a guilty country or a guilty authority, Fabian Lindertz from the Robert Koch Institute, Germany's central disease control body, who will be among the team to visit, told the Agence France Press in late December. This is about understanding what happened to avoid that in the future, to reduce the risk, he said. The snag is totally unfortunate and should be resolved quickly. A whole new year has now passed since the viral outbreak started in China. It is entirely fitting and sound for the WHO, China, and the world community to move together in determining the origins of the 2020 pandemic. It is incidentally the fashion now in the film industry to establish and memorialize the origins of cinema's biggest heroes and superheroes at the box office. Surely, the most deadly and dreadful scourge in the 21st century merits also a disquisition on its origins. And that's the editorial for Friday, January 8, 2021. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print, subscribe to its digital edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and listen to the voice of the Times.